Our reading today is from the Gospel of John. Often on Pentecost, the reading, we, we do the reading from the book of Acts. That, that is probably the most uh, often used for, for this morning, where, where they are all in a room and then the, the spirit comes in and everyone starts speaking in tongues and, and people are just going crazy. And, and, and so it's the Holy Spirit blowing through. And people often say that was the, the beginning of the church is, is when Pentecost. Um, but so today we're going to do, do another. We're, we're reading from the Gospel of John. But the theme, it, it's, the, it's the same theme. It's the spirit. And you'll see that, that whether we're reading the book of Acts or the Gospel of John, we have to, we can't do our ministry. We, we can't really do the discipleship of Jesus without, it's the spirit in us that is doing that work. So that's the theme, whether we're reading Acts or this one here. So, so listen to this reading, how Jesus is giving this message that we need the spirit. Philip said to Jesus, Lord, show us the father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe because of the works themselves. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do. In fact, will do greater works than these because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate, to be with you forever. This is the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him because he abides with you and he will be in you. I have said these things to you while I am still with you, but the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. This is the gospel of the Lord. All right, so we just read there about Jesus giving the Spirit. So, um, if you were not in, if you were not here this morning in in church, um, so sometimes we have conversations, and um, both in both here in the sanctuary and also um, on Zoom. One of the themes of our, of our pre-church conversations was our physical health. <laughs> and you, because uh, 
it it fluctuates. Our our our, our everything uh, fluctuates, doesn't it? So, talking talking about our physical health on Friday, I had to go to the doctor. I I you know again. I mean, how long ago was it when, when we were all talking about my hernia surgery? And, and uh, I, thought, I thought it was smooth sailing. And, and, and it's doing great. And now something else. So I was at the doctor on um, Friday. And, <laughs> you, and you know, another interesting thing about going to the doctor, at least for me, if I wanted to see the doctor, I had to wait two weeks. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I could, I could see the physician's assistant soon. Um, but but it's, a, it's a two week wait to see the doctor. So um, I, usually I, I see the physician's assistant because she's, she's very good. So I, I, um, I saw her. Um, Actually, so when I was in there uh, with her, I, I said, my goodness, you know, I, I am seeing you more and I am seeing you more than I ever have. I, I've, from, from my 50s and, and uh, my 40s and 50s, I was never at the doctor. And now it's like becoming routine. And so, and so the, um, the, She's a very sweet person, uh, the, the physician. This steward. Um, and, and she said, she said um, I, I said, I see you a lot now as I get older. And she said, that's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> she could have said, well, I enjoy, you know, uh, I, don't, I don't like to see you not well, but it's nice to see you. But she said, I don't mind. <laughs> so here's something that's changed though one of the things that I like now about my doctor's visits um, is I like to wait I, I like the wait because I, I, I sit in the chair and you always have to wait right and I do my centering I, I sit in the chair and I I just close my eyes and like, no one knows what I'm doing. Yeah, I look like I'm sleeping. So I close my eyes, sit in the chair and 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm in the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> it's, it's not a doctor's office anymore. And then um, they say, okay, you have to go in the room and they take your vitals, right? Doctor's still not there. The, the nurse does this. And there's more waiting time, more time to pray. So, so I'm, I'm after my vitals, I'm, I'm doing the centering again. I, I see the doctor, you know, she, she, I'm, I'm fixed for now. I'm, I'm fine, but I have to get prescriptions. I go to Rite Aid, Rite Aid says, you got to wait. Yeah, we, we got a, a line there for another opportunity to send. I, I am so spiritual. By the time I get home, I am like floating over the ground. <laughs> so, um, so see, the, 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 it, it doesn't have to be a terrible now, right? Um, so for real, I, I was, I was doing all this centering. I, um, Father Keating says you just do twice a day, but I, I already had like four times and it wasn't even noon. <laughs> I, I was feeling so close to God by the time I got home. Um, so, <laughs> um, so the disciple, uh, F Philip, Philip said to Jesus in our reading this morning, he said, uh, j just um, let, us, let us know. Say, he said, 
show us the Father and we will be satisfied. And Jesus said, he said, Philip, because he's almost about to get arrested now. So he's, he's been with them a while. And he said, Philip, don't you get it yet? <laughs> How long have we been together and you still don't know who I am really? And then he explains and he says, God and I are one. The father is in me and, and so forth. So our spiritual life, really, it's about, it's a relationship, right? And, and it takes time. Relationships take, take time. So he told Philip, um, come on, like, wake up, wake up. I discovered this interesting show on on. HBO. Okay, I'm always looking for something good. And it's a show called Hacks. Have you heard of that? H-A-C-K-S. Hacks. Um, and the woman's, the actress's name, I, I didn't know much about her um, until recently. Her name is Jean Smart. Do you know who she is? Jean Smart, isn't she great? Um, she was on the Memorial Day in Washington, D.C. on that special uh, where they honor the veterans um, like, like la last week in the evening. And she did something with another man where they were enacting a couple that was sitting right there and the tragedy that went through when they lost both of their sons um, over the, the war in Afghanistan, <clears throat> one to suicide and one who was killed in action. And she was the mother who kept a journal and she was saying this. I was so impressed with her that I um, looked her up online and I saw that she was in this show called Hacks, where she's a comedian in, in her like late 60s. <laughs> Have you heard of that? You, you did? Okay, so, so it's got some, um, uh, what's, what's the word for it? It's like, like um, R-rated. You know, okay, kind of, kind of R-rated. Okay, so it's, you, you can't like watch it in church. But, but, it's, but it's filled with love. And the, really the powerful drama of the show is her relationship with this young woman who she hires to write comedy for her. And it is intense and it goes up and it goes down and she fires her and the girl betrays her, but they get back together. And I thought, this is wonderful. You know why? Because this is showing what a real relationship looks like. It, it, it's up and down. I mean, you, you guys, you're getting married, right? You're getting married, but you've probably already experienced <laughs> You've probably already experienced highs and lows, right? So, so, uh, and you guys have been married a long time. <laughs> yeah. So, but that's one of the things about um, relationships is that they're not static, right? They, they, they change. And this is what Jesus is, is trying to, to get across here to Philip is, um, Philip, you, you should know me better by now. You, we've been together two or three years. Um, so he's talking to us. Jesus is talking to us. And He's saying, 
um, are, you, are you giving our relationship enough time? Because we need time, right? You need time to be together. And you need to talk to each other and have experiences together. And Jesus is saying, we need to do that with him. We, we need to include Jesus at our doctor's visits. I, I, was, I was talking to Jesus more than to my doctor. I, my doctor was like in and out of there in like three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but look, G Jesus was with me in, before the doctor's office, at the doctor's office. Jesus went with me to Rite Aid. I was sitting like right next to where they sell Depends and Foster Grant sunglasses. <laughs> and Jesus was right there. He was, he was right there. Um, so I think the theme on this day, Pentecost, that Jesus is trying to teach us all through the Gospels is he's trying to teach us, let go. He's trying to, he's trying to say, you're not in control of this, so stop trying to be in control. Because <laughs> we have a hard time letting go of that, right? To, to, to flow with the spirit, like something, oh, like we get sick and we say, oh my God, this is terrible. And uh, because I'm not in control anymore, I'm not, my, my body is not doing what I want. <laughs> and Jesus is trying to tell us, you got to flow with it. You let the spirit come in you and let, I am sending you the spirit, Jesus says. Well, we've got to, we've got to, we need to be aware of it, right? The, the spirit can be with us and we can say, no, I've got things, I got things under control. <laughs> So I think that's the, the theme um, for today. You, the other thing that was remarkable in the reading is that Jesus said, we will do as great things as he did, which is hard to believe because look at what he did. He healed people. He cast out. I bet everyone in here, maybe you weren't aware of it. I bet, and, and there at, at home, I bet everyone has cast out an evil spirit from someone and maybe not even been aware of it. And sometimes it's just our presence that changes someone um, from, from desperate to peace. Remember, he, Jesus always says, my peace I, I give to you. I bet we have cast out many bad spirits from people just by our soothing words and sometimes just by not arguing, just by not arguing. So, so let us pray, let us pray now. Dear God, the theme today is that Jesus sends us his spirit. Give us the awareness to know that the spirit is actually with us and, and wanting to live through us. Help us allow the spirit to do its work. <laughs> Help us let go and, and let the spirit of love and compassion flow through us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Um, let us pray for our offerings. Oh God, may your work continue through these gifts and especially through our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. So this is the first Monday
of the month. This is the first Monday of June. So it's our communion Sunday. So if, if you would like to get uh, juice at home or, or a piece of bread or something like that, uh, and we can all do this together. And for those of us here, Kitty is, is going to give everybody uh, communion. Thank you. Let us pray. <clears throat> oh God, you have shown us a new and life-giving way in Jesus Christ. May we so share in this bread and this cup that our lives may yield to the sway of your spirit. Amen. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and broke it. And he said, to his disciples, he said, take and eat. This is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And then after supper, he took the cup and he said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Serving you now in Jesus' name, let us receive the bread of life and the cup of salvation. Let us pray. Oh God, thank you for refreshing us at your table through the presence of Jesus Christ. Strengthen our faith, increase our love for one another, and send us into the world rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. We offer our prayers in your name, Jesus, for you taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our closing hymn is in Christ, there is no east or west. Oh, and so before... <laughs> Before we sing the song, I just see an announcement that, um, that Joy, our, our choir director, asked me to read uh, this morning. So it says, free medication review sessions with a local pharmacist. Um, contact the site closest to you to schedule a 30 minute appointment to review your medications and any questions with a pharmacist and student pharmacist. Have you ever heard of these? So, so there, are, there are locations here like the Hamden Town Library, um, 9.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, oh, 
I guess we have to call up to find out when, when they're gonna be, but they're free medication review. So if you'd like to know any more, anything more about, if you need to review your medications, <laughs> then uh, I have the numbers here and the locations, okay? You can ask me. All right. In Christ, there is no east or west. In Christ, there is no east or west. In Christ, no south or north. is neither Jew nor Greek and neither slave nor free for men and women live in God and all are given to me in Christ now meet both east and west in Christ meet south <laughs> so let us go forth now, knowing that the Holy Spirit, Jesus promised to send us the Holy Spirit. So, so let us believe that he is keeping his word and that the Spirit is here and the Spirit will help us do everything that Jesus did, that we may be healers and cast out evil spirits and bring peace wherever God sends us. In Jesus' name, amen. So, so you know, uh, at least my weatherman this morning, he said this is one of the 10 best days <laughs> of the year. So, so I hope uh, you all are going to be able to enjoy that. Uh, as I say this, it just became overcast. <laughs> Um, but uh, have a wonderful day, and, and I love all of you, and I hope God blesses this day for you especially, um, and I'll, I'll see you next week. God bless. <laughs>